My name is Jeff White, and I'm the research entomologist for Bedbug Central and the host of Bedbug TV, bedbugcentral.com. I have no idea how I got into bugs and bedbugs. And here I am six years later and having a lot of fun working with bedbugs. And I'll be talking to you about pest control. You're sitting in your home and you notice some bites which look like bug bites on the surface of your skin and you're wondering what's going on? Do I have a bug infesting my house? The truth of the situation is that there are actually very few insects that can infest someone's home and bite them on a repetitive basis. And what I want to do is provide you some information on what it could be and what it probably isn't. The first thing I can say is if you are seeing any type of repetitive reaction on your skin, you may want to visit a dermatologist to see if they can give you any insight in regards to what is biting you. Because it may not be an insect, it may be a rash to something else. In terms of bugs that can infest your home, bed bugs are one example. Everybody's seen them in the news, they're receiving tons of attention. If you're waking up with rows and clusters of bites on your skin, that can be a sign that you may have a bed bug infestation. And I recommend contacting a knowledgeable professional to do a quick inspection of your house and your beds and couches to see if they can identify a problem. If you're seeing bites around the ankles, and they typically are associated with beds and other types of areas, potentially where your pet sleeps, if you have a dog or cat, that could be the sign of a flea infestation. You know, they will typically bite around the ankles and they typically are associated with pets. Now, if you don't have pets and you're seeing bites around the ankles, it doesn't mean that you can't have a flea infestation because you don't have a pet. There are some isolated incidents where the, uh, an animal could be associated with the house that's introducing the fleas. But bites around the ankles, pets, typically going to be fleas. There are some rodent and bird mites out there that if you have birds nesting in the side of your house or rodents nesting in the wall voids, you could have some mites that are running around causing some sort of reaction. Removing those nests will quickly solve that problem. Mosquitoes, although they typically don't reproduce in the house, could be getting in through a broken screen or a door that was left open or a window that was left open and make sure all your screens are sealed properly and that will hopefully prevent mosquitoes from getting in and biting you while you're sleeping at night. And the last one are spiders. Spiders do not typically bite humans, and so anytime somebody receives something that they can't explain, they always want to blame spiders. Oh, it must be a spider bite. That's not how spiders typically work. They're not going to come out at night and just randomly feed on you while you sleep in your bed. An isolated spider bite can happen, but it's not going to be a regular occurrence. And if you're getting you know, something regularly appearing, again, it's probably not spiders, and I would recommend seeing a dermatologist to see if you can identify what the cause of that reaction is. And that's a rundown of the different pests that may infest your home and what the sources of those bites may be.